So we are heading to Denver today. Finally, we've been planning this trip for a while. We were you know, waiting for our van to be finished in Utah. This time we are not taking our RV. Uh, we're gonna do it in the van. We're staying with family. And we're gonna leave our RV in storage here on the western slope of Colorado. So we're going to Denver to, at least in part, to uh, build out the van some more, mostly on the inside. You know, it's been acting as our garage basically for the past three or four years. So we had to remove basically everything that was in there. Um, and we're putting it in our RV temporarily while we're not using it for the next week or so. <clears throat> no matter how small you live, how tiny you think you live, accumulating stuff just never seems to end. <laughs> We do our best to like keep everything to a minimum, but yeah, we used to have a zero growth policy where if we brought something in, we had to get rid of something. Like that doesn't work very often. Buy a new pair of shoes, get rid of a pair of shoes. Yeah. Buy a new hat, get rid of a hat. But you know, I have a stack of like 12 hats. And how many <laughs> pairs of shoes do you have? Um, I don't know, I can't mm. count that high. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I almost forgot to grab this food. Perishables. It's so leaving the refrigerator off for a week. We've been here for nine days now. Uh, we originally were gonna stay for four, but we extended here, added five more days, which was good because there was a storm that rolled through the mountains. We would've got caught in that. I don't wanna drive this van in the snow if we don't have to. Just yesterday, um, we discovered that we are in the wrong campsite and we have been the entire time, all nine days that we've stayed here. I only caught it because I was reviewing some uh, dash cam footage when I was editing and I happened to notice the site number. I knew it by memory and I was like, that's not the site number that I reserved. Well, I've, I reserved it off a of visual map. We know this park really well, um, at least, you know, the layout. And I went and I used a map and I just clicked it and reserved it and just we rolled into the space. And then so when I noticed that yesterday um, when editing, we were like, oh my God, nobody said anything to us. The, the park hosts, the camp hosts. I'm really surprised by that because we did a camp hosting stint four years ago for a very short period. And um, we always knew who was supposed to be in what site and for how long. But yeah, they never said a thing to us. Thankfully, it's probably only at like 10% capacity. So we lucked out that nobody reserved the actual spot that we rolled into. <laughs> So that's really a newbie mistake. We've been doing this for over four years and we should know better. Um, even if you really think you know, double check because that would have been a nightmare. If somebody would have rolled in and said, hey, you're in our spot. Yeah, we would have had to move and that would have not been fun after you know completely being set up and everything. Note to self, triple check the site number, always. <laughs> okay, so we're about out of here. Yay. We're gonna go drop our trailer off real quick and then we'll be on the road to Denver. Okay, we're all set. We're gonna set up a bomb in our RV when we leave. It's a, uh, what's it called? Bioside? Yeah, What is it called? Bioside Systems Room Shocker. Bioside Systems Room Shocker. Awesome. It, it kills like everything, anything that creates mold, mold odor, mildew. mildew. Yeah, and it's safe too. So we've used them for years on and off. We, we used it at our house too. If you have pets and you get like animal smells, it kills all of that. We've never found anything that works better. Here it is, room shucker. Let's see. Auto shocker or room shocker, same thing. This one's made for cars, but it's essentially the same formula, I think. Okay. And then it's gonna start. You'll see like yellow gas. So we added warm water to the packet, and it's gonna start like. Uh, Smoke, not smoking, yeah, like a vapor. A vapor is going to be released here in a minute. Don't breathe it, whatever you do. Okay, now we're off to Denver. Five and a half hours away. 
five and a half hour drive, probably more like seven with pop stops and gas and food. 